this is a sad state of affairs for New Hampshire when it comes to voting rights. Lucas Meyer is with 603 Forward, one of several groups that has already filed a lawsuit trying to block a voting law just signed by Governor Sununu. It creates a special ballot for first-time voters who cast a ballot without providing their identity or residency. If the voter doesn't provide those documents within seven days of the election, their ballot would be thrown out. Opponents say that raises privacy concerns since it would reveal who individuals voted for. We heard directly from local election officials who feel very uncomfortable in this political climate having a list of voters with unique identifiers to their ballot. There are also concerns the law could jeopardize the ability to certify primary election results in time to get general election ballots sent out to overseas voters. Those ballots get sent out to our overseas military voters 45 days um, ahead of election day. Uh, we've heard time and time again that every one of those 45 days is really crucial. But Governor Sununu says that won't be an issue. The Secretary of State, uh, he knows the election process better than almost anyone in the country, and he's given absolute full assurance that this will not hinder our ability to get military ballots out on time, which is very important, uh, and it won't slow down the process at the local level. Well, critics say the law is unnecessary because there is no evidence of widespread voter fraud in the state. Supporters say the new law will help prevent unqualified voters from casting ballots. We always want to make sure that we live to that gold standard that the rest of the country is watching. And the bill does not go into effect this election cycle. It becomes law in January of 2023. Live in studio, Scott Cook, WMUR News 9.